Roger, in this video we're taking a basic look at the Windows information tool that's built into Windows. Now we have a Windows 7 operating system here and to access our Windows information tool we need to come down to the All button and type msinfo32.exe and this will allow us to click on this little tab here. We're going to click on that and once this is opened up as you can see it gives us a, a lot of information about our system the, the memory, the processor, the BIOS version, uh, the motherboard make uh, which is M uh, MicroStar International MSI and as you can see it gives us the actual model number which is very useful if we want to get um, some sort of information of the system so we can get the uh, chipset drivers and stuff like that okay which is very very useful uh, also on the left hand side up here uh, we've got some other system uh, areas that we can use which is hardware resources now this tells us all about the hardware on the system now obviously if you've been into A plus and stuff like that you'd know about all this because this is the sort of stuff they talk about uh, input output IRQs and stuff like that and as you can see IRQ and it gives you the IRQs you have to learn all these and you can see all the actual uh, information there okay uh, high definition audio controller and uh, once you come into here direct uh, memory access and also we've got input output this gives us all the input output the resources the device and the status of the input outputs IRQs this again from zero all the way down uh, and it will give you all the information there of uh, the IRQs and the status of them and where uh, what is in there and what's being used for that IRQ uh, and also memory you can see the resource here and also the device that's using it and the status of it okay when you go into components again if you wanted to check for codecs and stuff like that you can come into multimedia audio codecs and uh, video codecs and so on we've got sound device information okay uh, what IRQ channel it's been allocated and so on this information is very useful up the top here as well I think I've done a video on this before as you can see some of our videos uh, also the driver uh, the location and stuff like that the system file you can see there so there's a load of useful information in here and uh, a lot of people don't really probably uh, use it but it's actually on the system and you can actually get some good uh, information from here and troubleshoot also if you come in down the bottom here I won't go through all these because it will take a lot of time uh, system drivers name of the system driver the description and also the file location of it and uh, is it started uh, the start mode whether it's a uh, manual and so on on boot and you also got the state and the status okay and also the error control if we look down uh, if we look down the bottom here we've got error reporting and so on and so on now we can do searches down here now if I typed BIOS in the find button if find what down here and then find it it will take us to it and we can actually see what it is so you can actually do a search for it like that if you wanted to and also we can make a, uh, a backup or a, a copy of all the information in all of these locations and all we'd need to do is go file export and then we can put in here whatever we like and we're going to call it computer info like so and it will take a bit of time and it will get a load of information for it okay so let's have a little look at the uh, computer info and here we have uh, 110 KB as you can see if I open this up now you'll see all the information on this computer as you can see there loads and loads of information all the codecs and stuff like that very very useful for diagnosing and also troubleshooting okay uh, and maybe you've got a problem with your sound you can come in and have a good uh, route through maybe post it onto the forum for someone to have a look at for you if you're not too comfortable of having a look inside here okay so that's how you use the system uh, information tool inside Windows. I hope you enjoy these videos. It's only a basic look, but my name is Brian from Brytech.co.uk. If you enjoy my videos, please remember, guys, hit the subscribe button, share your support, and also rate for all my videos and favourite them. 
and if you haven't joined the forums yet then the link is down below and I shall see you over there if you've got any problems with your computers okay thanks again guys bye for now